<laughs> you got that smile. Teddy and Tanisha Brathwaite say they now live with a renewed sense of purpose. We have little Sienna, Sienna, Sienna Grace. Grace. Her nickname is Cece, and so far, she's earning straight A's in the fight against the odds. We've heard she won't make it past the day. We've heard she won't make it past the week. And here we are at 10 months. Teddy and Tanisha learned very early on in their pregnancy that CC carried an extra copy of the 18th chromosome. Trisomy 18, also known as Edwards syndrome, is a rare and serious genetic disorder that affects roughly one in every 2,000 births. Historical survival rates are not promising. Most babies do not live beyond the first two weeks of life, and fewer than 10% live beyond the first year, typically due to major heart and or lung defects. The Brathwaite decided to go public with their story on March 18th, Trisomy 18 National Awareness Day. A little hiccups here and there, but she's, she's strived, pushing through. Kiana Sifkis is a certified genetic counselor at Seattle Children's Hospital. I definitely think awareness of genetic conditions and rare disease as a whole is something I would love to see change. There's a lot happening in genetics right now. CeCe's well-being involves around-the-clock care. I monitor her heart rate, monitor her oxygen levels. But Tanisha says she hopes more people will start talking about intervention, as in trisomy 18-related corrective surgery, rather than just sitting back and accepting a terminal diagnosis. Diagnosis. Each doctor visit, they were preparing us for her death. I was preparing for her life. Teddy and Tanisha are the first to admit this has been a difficult journey, but they say it takes a village to raise a child, and CC is not just some other baby on the block. They have a great support network that includes an attentive team of doctors and friends and neighbors who are with them one day at a time, every step of the way. Well, their strength is what's inspiring everyone. They're resilient, they're strong. Um, it's a blessing to be part of their network. From a call, you know, in the middle of the night to first thing in the morning, being there for them to support them is what helps them, helps Sian and helps us get through this process. Tanisha says she hopes her family's journey can inspire others to see past the stats and embrace the hope Cece gives them as she approaches her first birthday. My hope is for these families to see this story and just know that there is hope. We care for her, we love her, we pray for her. Let's go for the next day. In West Milford, New Jersey, Jay Dow, Pix 11 News.